In this video, we're going to look at angles, and we're going to look at angles whenever this parallel lines. So if we've got two parallel lines, shown by the little arrows, and we've got a transversal, a straight line that cuts them. So as this transversal cuts the parallel lines, some of the angles are the same as each other. And in this video, we're going to look at the names of the angles that are the same as each other, so they've got certain names. So let's first of all start off with what we call alternate angles. So alternate angles, or some people call them Z angles, um, are the same as each other. So if you were to measure this angle and this angle, you'd realize that they're the same size. So for instance, if this one's 100 degrees, this one's 100 degrees. And if this one's 80 degrees, this one's 80 degrees. And they're called alternate angles because they're alternate to each other like this and like so. Some people call them Z angles because if you were to draw the Z like so, the angles inside of the Z there and there are the same. And likewise, if you draw the Z like that, the angles inside are the same as each other. Um, but the proper name is what we call alternate angles. And if you're ever asked in an exam question what they're called, you've got to call them alternate angles. So these two angles are the same, and these two angles are the same, and they're called alternate. Next, corresponding angles. So if you've got a parallel line and another parallel line, the transversal, the straight line that cuts them, will cut, the angle, uh, cut those parallel lines at the same angle because that transversal is going in the same direction. So that means that the angle to the bottom right and the other angle to the bottom right will be the same as each other. The angle to the bottom left and the other angle to the bottom left will be the same as each other and they're called corresponding. The angle to the uh, top right and the angle to the top right are corresponding to each other. And the angle to the top left and to the top left will be corresponding to each other. That means they're all the same size. So for instance, if this one's 100, this one's 100. If this one's 80, this one's 80. If this one's 80, this one's 80. And if this one's 100, this one's 100. So they're what we call corresponding angles. Some people will call them F angles because as you can see, if you've got this F shape, the angles underneath the arms of the F will be the same. Likewise for backwards F, the angles underneath the, the arms of the F are the same as each other. And even an upside down F, the, uh, the angles above the arms of the F will be the same as each other. And even a backwards upside down F, uh, the two angles here will be the same as each other. Um, so some people will call them F angles, but the proper name is corresponding angles. Next we've got what we call co-interior angles. So the two angles inside of the parallel lines on the same side of the transversal will add up to 180 degrees. So for instance, if this one was 100 degrees, this angle here would have to be 80 degrees because they add up to 180. Likewise, on the left-hand side, these two will add up to 180. And even if it's um, the parallel lines go up the way, it's like so, the two angles inside of the parallel lines and on the same side of the transversal will again add up to 180. These angles are sometimes called C angles or even U angles, um, but the proper name again is co-interior angles and they add up to 180. And just remember that vertically opposite angles are the same. So if you've got two lines across each other, the opposite angles are the same as each other. So if that's 50, that's 50. So let's have a look at some questions. So example one says, find X and give a reason for your answer. So here we've got parallel lines and we've got the transversal. And we've been asked to find what X is. As you can see, um, both are these angles. Well, they're both obtuse and also they're in the same position. You know, so you've got the transversal and both of them are all above the parallel line on the left hand side. That means they're corresponding to each other. You've got the upside down F shape like that. They're corresponding to each other. So it means that they're both the same. So it means that if uh, uh, this is 112, X is 112 degrees. And the reason is they're corresponding angles. Next, our next example, we have, it says find Y and give a reason for your answer. So again, we have got that um, this is an obtuse angle and it's, X, uh, it's 125 degrees. And we've got Y, which is an obtuse angle. Now, as you can see, they are all alternate to each other, like so. So that means they're both the same as each other. So that means that Y is 125 degrees. And this time they are alternate angles. So they are alternate angles. Next, this time it says find A and give a reason for your answer. So here we've got 53 degrees and we've got A. Now as you'll notice, they're both inside of the parallel lines on the same side of the transversal. And as you can see, one's acute and one's obtuse. That means that they are co-interior angles, co-interior angles. And that means it will add up to 180 degrees. So if we know one's 53, to get the other one, we just take the 53 away from the 180. So 180 subtract 53. Well, if we do that, well, we just borrow. 10 take away 3 is 7, 7 take away 5 is 2, and 1 take away 0 is 1, so that's 127 degrees, and the reason is they are co-interior angles, they add up to 180. 
Example 4. Example 4 says find x. So we don't need to give a reason this time, but we just need to find the value of x. So here we've got 40 degrees, and here we've got x. And, well, the first thing I notice is that the 40 and the angle below the x are corresponding to each other. So that means that this angle is 40 degrees. Now, as you might notice, the x and the 40 make a straight line. See this straight line? So these two will add up to 180 degrees. So I wanna, if I want to find out what x is, I'm going to take 40 away from 180. So I'm going to do 180, subtract 40, which is equal to 140 degrees. So that means that x is 140 degrees. And let's just check it. Well, it's obtuse, so 140 seems about right. And again, if this one's 40, this one's 40, they're corresponding. And the x and the 40 make a straight line, so that means that the x has to be 140. So x is 140 degrees. Example 5. Now, example five, we've got two, uh, we've got the parallel lines. You can see the parallel lines with the arrows, and we've got two transversals. So the fastest to find what x is and what y is. Now, first of all, let's start off with x. Well, the x and the 49, as you can see, they're corresponding angles. You can see the f shape, like so. So if this one's 49, the x is 49 degrees also. They're corresponding to each other. Next, I want to find out what y is. Well, the 75 is going to be corresponding with the angle to the left of the y. As you can see, this angle is the same as this angle. They're corresponding to each other. So that means that that is 75 degrees. Now, the y and the 75 make a straight line. So if I know that that's 75, I can take the 75 away from 180 to find y. So, so that means that y is 105 degrees. And that's it. So x is 49 degrees. It's corresponding with the 49. And the y, well, the 75 is corresponding with this angle. And then the 75 and the y make a straight line. So that means that y will have to be 105 degrees. Okay, now let's have a look at a typical GCSE question. So this typical GCSE question has said, work out the value of y. So we've got two parallel lines like so, and we've got the transversal going horizontally this time. So um, we've got the 70, uh, 67 here. And well, I've noticed that the 67 and this angle, well, they are alternate to each other. You can sort of see the Z shape there. So that means that this would have to be 67 as well. And the 67 and the Y are in a straight line with each other. So if I want to work out what Y is, I can just take 67 away from 180. So 180, take away 67, well, that's going to be 113 degrees. So Y is equal to 113 degrees. There's other ways to do this question. You could have said that the 67 and the angle above Y are corresponding. And then, again, they make a straight line, so you can take 67 away from 180, again, leaving you with 113. Or even, you could have said you had a co-interior angle, took the six, uh, 67 away from 180 to find the angle inside, and then said it was opposite Y, so then they'd be the same as each other. But all those uh, methods would all give you that Y is equal to 113 degrees. Next, she says he question two. So this question has said, uh, you've, it's labeled all the angles A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Part one says, which angle is vertically opposite to A? So here we've got A and the angle vertically opposite it, but well, the angle opposite it is D. So that's gonna be D. Next one says, which angle is alternate to C? So here we've got C, and if you look at the Z shape like so, the angle alternate to it is F. So F is alternate to C. And the last question then says, um, which angle is corresponding to F? And the angle that would be corresponding, well, it's gonna be the one here. So F is corresponding to B. So the angle that corresponding to B, or F, is B. Uh, typical GCSE question three. This time we have got the angle Y, an angle X, an angle 2X, and an angle 105 degrees. And the first question says, work out the value of angle X. Now again, there might be more than one way to do this, but the way I'm going to do it is, well, I noticed that 105, 105 here, and this angle adds up to 180. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 105 away from 180, and that will tell me what's left for these two angles. So, well, 180 take away 105, well, that's equal to 75 degrees. So that means that these two angles will add up to 75 degrees. But we've got x and 2x. So x and 2x add together to be 75 degrees. So if I add them together, x plus 2x is 3x. And that's equal 
to the 75 degrees that's left for these two angles. So if I divide 75 by 3, I get x is equal to 25 degrees. So that means x is 25 degrees, and 2x, well, 2 times x is equal to 50 degrees, because 2 25s. And so it says, first one says, work out the value of x. Well, angle x is equal to 25 degrees. Next part, work out the angle y. Now, as you might notice, this y is alternate with the 2x. See the z shape, this angle, and this angle are the same? Well, that means that y is the same as 2x. Well, y is the same as 50, so y is 50 degrees. And that's it.